Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you a very interesting research project called as Monolith by Bytes. Monolith, in very simple words, is a very lightweight and scalable recommender system. Let's try to understand the context behind this project. Building a scalable in real time recommendation system is vital for many businesses driven by time sensitive customer feedback such as short videos ranking or online ads. Despite the ubiquitous adoption of production scale deep learning frameworks like TensorFlow or PyTorch, these general purpose frameworks really fall short of business demands in recommendation scenarios for various reasons. On one hand, for example, tweaking system based on static parameters and dense computation for recommendation with dynamic and sparse feature is detrimental to model quality. On the other hand, such frameworks are designed with batch training stage and serving stage completely separated. That prevents the model from interacting with customer feedback in real time. These issues led these researchers at Bytans to re-examine traditional approaches and explore radically different design choices. That is where they hashed this monolith, which is a system tailored for online training. Their design has been driven by observations of their application workloads and production environments that reflects a marked departure from other recommendation systems. What they have done is they have crafted a collision-less embedding table with optimizations such as expirable embeddings and frequency filtering to reduce its memory footprint. Secondly, they have provisioned and production-ready online training architecture with high fault tolerance. They have also proved that system readability could be traded off for real-time learning and monolith has successfully landed in the Byte Plus recommend product from Bytance, which is a big deal. So let's try to see how it works in a very simple example, which I'm going to run locally after installing it. Also, let me give a huge thanks to our good friends at Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. This is a VM I'm using, and this is the GPU which I'm going to use, NVIDIA RTX A6000 courtesy mass compute. If you're also looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. So do check them out. First up, let's create a virtual environment. Also, it is only compatible at the moment or tested at the moment with Python 3.8.6. And that is why I am creating a virtual environment with that. And now let's install the GCC compiler in this Conda environment. And now let's git clone the repo of monolith. That's done. And next up, we need to download and install Bazel. Bazel is an open source tool by Google, which we will use to build and compile the monolith here. Okay, so let's wait. That's already done. Next up, let's install some of the prerequisites, which include the NumPy and wheel packaging, few other stuff. This is going to take a minute. And you can ignore these warnings while that happens. And that completes installation. Now, if you want to run it as per your own demo on your own data set, you would need to go to this monolith website, give it your own data, and then you can build your own recommender, uh, recommender system. That is out of scope of this video, but I just wanted to show you the installation and I'll also show you how you can run it. So this is how primarily you run this Bazel. And if you look at this command, because Bazel is not that widely known in the community. So Bazel, so what is happening here is, Bazel is building the demo target in the monolith package and then it is running the build target and it is also ignoring any logs generated by the target during, uh, during execution. So double slash primarily 
means the root of the repo that is all what is happening here and once you run it it is start progressing and this is going to take a long time to build so i'm not going to go further here but anyway i just wanted to give you the flavor of this monolith framework i think if you have uh, your own uh, data your own recommender system you can simply replace it with monolith if you think if you have any time sensitive data around it that's it let me know what you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps